Hi. So, I was hoping to give you guys uh, another Stranger interview this year for SIAD. Uh, but that fell through. But that's okay, because I got something even better. I'm interviewing my family and my friends. And uh, hopefully that will be of interest, because uh, if you've ever wondered what your family thinks about your own self-injury, well, you might have similar uh, responses from them. Uh, so, I'm going to ask them some questions and roll the video. If I asked you to describe what self-injury is, what would you say? I would say that it's uh, when people intentionally hurt themselves to distract or somehow cope with other pains. I would say that it's when somebody's hurting themselves intentionally, uh, whatever the way or method might be, whether it's by not eating, uh, throwing up, uh, bruising themselves, cutting themselves, like whatever method it is that they use but that actually hurts them on purpose. To me, that's self-harm. Um, I think there's actually also a lot of uh, misunderstanding and um, a lot of loneliness as well. Um, you know, the, uh, the fact that it's actually a, a mental health issue. Um, I think the, uh, the person who's going to actually self-injure um, is in a state of mind that uh, probably no one else can really actually understand. Um, and that's actually quite uh, quite terrifying, really. Uh, the kind of like damage that some someone can actually uh, do to oneself. Um, so I guess for me, um, self injury would actually equal as uh, loneliness. What does self injury mean to you? It means a terrible coping mechanism that's highly self destructive. To me, it means that somebody is in tremendous pain. Uh, it's not logical to me because I'm somebody that's like afraid of pain, but I understand that it's a means to an end, like to try to feel less of the pain that they're feeling, they go to another kind of pain. Well, what it actually means, yes, it, it means actually... Um to actually be rather lonely, uh, you know, not finding help, not, not finding a, a way of actually uh, going over the, the issues, uh, not maybe able to actually uh, talk to, uh, to people um, in order to actually find the, the, the correct help. As family or a good friend of mine, how does it make you feel when you've heard that I've self-injured or went to the hospital? I met you on YouTube, so it wasn't a surprise that you were a critic. Um, the hard part it was to talk you out of it. When you wanted to cut, it was, it was almost too possible to convince you not to. And that was really hard. I felt like a useless friend. Although I understood what you were going through and I know what it was about, it was really hard not to, do, not to be able to do anything about it. I guess most simply put, it hurts. Um, it's always hard to see loved ones uh, going through trouble, so obviously there's just extra layers to this because you're hurting yourself because you hurt in other ways. It would hurt. Uh, because when I found out every time, it would be knowing that you were in so much pain that you felt like you needed to hurt yourself in such ways that really weren't good. <laughs> um, I, I felt bad because, like, you can't confide in me, you can't, you couldn't like trust to talk with me or with anybody else to be able to try to get rid of the pain or at least alleviate it somewhat uh, instead of resorting to that. Well, obviously it's never nice to, um, to hear that kind of things. And, uh, you know, especially when 
you know, uh, someone is actually loved or, you know, really much appreciated. Um, well, personally, well, of course, I, I didn't like it. I still actually hate it. And, you know, I don't actually comprehend it fully. Um, but I think the most important is actually be able to actually accept it and accept that the person, you know, had to do whatever he or she had to do. And well, in this case, you, she, she had to do, you know, of course, I would actually beg the person not to actually use that type of method, uh, but rather try uh, more softer versions um, in, in order to actually go through um, through issues. And I would actually say that to, 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 to everyone. Should self-injury be something that people should be more aware of? And why do you think so? Um. It's hard to talk to someone who, don't, who <clears throat> doesn't understand what self-injury is. So if more people knew about it, it would be easier to um, seek help. Yes, um, because I think obviously there's a lot of stigma surrounding it in very negative ways, whereas there's a lot of other issues that people face where people in society generally accept that that means they need help. And when we're dealing with so with mental illness or, or self injury, all of a sudden it becomes a negative thing um, with a lot of bad connotations attached to it. Yes, definitely. Um, reason behind it is that there's so many people doing it, and you probably know people that do it and don't even know. Um, I mean, my sister had been doing it for years before I found out that she was doing it, and I had no clue. Uh, I eventually asked her straight out if she had been, but uh, that was eventually, like, with some clues over time. But if you do know, like, if people know about it, then they're more able to offer help. And I don't mean the way, like, oh, you're doing bad, don't do that, and go to the hospital or whatever, There's like, or just stop that. It's like, saying things like that doesn't help. But, like, trying to find... Um, Trying to learn more about it makes you more able to understand and try to help them cope with their feelings. Of course, I mean the more people are actually aware of the self injury, um, I'm actually personally uh, a non sufferer. Um, I've been actually lucky enough, but um, there's probably actually a lot of people actually are dead and not in my in my case, and you know need actually help so. It's uh, it's good that um, you know we have a Syed on the first of March. It's actually like a, an awareness day um, for those people, and uh, it, it should actually be made aware, you know, um, so people be able to actually find help and they would actually understand and and feel that they're not alone. And there's actually like you know light at the end of the tunnel, and they they don't need to actually go through that that kind of pain and suffering you know uh, on their own basically so i want to really thank everyone who sent in their videos or came down to my studio and <laughs> recorded their videos it was really great of you guys um i i didn't get as many submissions as i was hoping uh what i would like though is i can talk about one of my friends um uh, her reaction to my self-harm and uh, well basically the the story goes is I went to the hospital to get uh, stitches I had tried to stitch myself up which was something they made a big deal about and my friend she came and picked me up from the hospital and she was pretty calm about it until we got to her place and she she cried harder than I've ever seen her cry before and I never seen her so vulnerable and she just said I don't want you to die so um, it made me wake up it made me realize how much what I was doing was affecting people and it made me more aware um, I, I, I wasn't aware so much when I was in my situation and it made me more aware um, I think that she was very aware um, and people need to be aware because it is a serious problem and it can get to a really, really dark place. So I think that awareness is so, 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 so important um, for everyone. Even if you're self-harming, maybe you're not quite aware what you're doing at that point. 
even if you have someone in your family who's doing it, you may not realize the extent of it. If you've never heard of it before, you have no idea uh, the gravity that this can affect not just the person themselves, but their families, and um, how serious it really is, and that, it's, that it is something that needs to be taken seriously. So um, that's my video for Syed, and I'm, I hope it was interesting. Um, I, I love that my, my, my family and my friends, my loved ones, they came together and they did this for me. So um, take care and have a great day. Have a great Syed.